In the UK, we're just about at the end of the competitive golf season, and over the course of the year, I've made some massive changes to what's in my bag, so I want to take you through those today. Hi, I'm Paul, and this is The Golf Show. Twenty twenty three has been a great year for golf. My handicap's come down two shots, which is fantastic. I still want to get down two more, and I've got a few more rounds to go. I've changed eleven of the fourteen clubs in my bag, so that's a massive change. I've even changed the bag. So today I want to take you through my what's in the bag, and I think this could be the setup that sticks with me for a while. So let's start off with the top of the bag. Okay, the driver, lovely head cover there from BLK Douglas made for me. Beautiful materials there, really nice. I've got the Ping G430 LST. I was fitted for this down at Ping, nine degrees. It flies fantastically, really nice launch angle, really nice angle of descent. On all my clubs, I've got the Golf Pride mid-size plus four grips. So that's like having four reels of tape under the right hand. I like that, it stops my Right hand from getting a bit weak. Just had this regrip today by a guy in the pro shop. It feels fantastic. Got the Ping Tour 2.0 chrome shaft in that. Really nice club, been really happy with this. This is gonna be around for a while. I also swapped out my fairway wood. And at one point this year, I had a three and a five fairway wood. Look at the quality of that cover, that was from the open. Pretty one, isn't it? So I've got the ping again, G430 max, 15 degrees, three wood. This guy's about 230 yards. Really like it off the deck. Really easy to hit. Again, the same shaft, same grip. As you can see in the end of all my grips, I've got the Arcos trackers. They just screw in there quite nicely. I've been preparing an episode on that for a few months now. I want to get a lot of rounds in there so I can show you all the data, but they just fit quite discreetly in the clubs. You don't really notice those when you're using them. Now the sharp eyed amongst you might have seen that I've actually got 15 clubs in the bag. So I've got an option here. I've got the Ping I230 iron to change these at the start of the year. And I've got a three iron. That's got the nip on. Modus Pro shaft in it. I've gone for a regular shaft, but a heavier shaft than what I had before when I had my tennis elbow. I had the Acra composites, but they were quite light, but they were stiff. So I've got the three iron, which has been good, but I've just replaced that most of the time with the hybrid. I've had a bit of an on-off relationship with hybrids. I really like my Nike hybrids when they first came out. I sold those, I shouldn't. I had lots of tailor-made ones, tightless ones. I even did a review on this one on the channel and I wasn't mega fussed with it but then I just kept thinking this three iron is so hard to hit when you're coming out of the rough you really want that flat sole so I went and had a fitting with Guy in the pro shop here we've gone for the same tour chrome shaft the same grips what we've also done as well is all my irons are half an inch longer than normal so we've gone for that in the hybrid as well because obviously hitting this more like an iron than a wood but I'm really loving this club off to St Andrews next week and whilst I thought I'd keep the three iron for those Lynx kind of courses I think it'll be the hybrid that makes a journey with me. I've got the I230 irons then from three iron as we've just shown you there, four iron right through to pitching wedge. And I just want to show you a bit of a difference with these. So this one here is the four iron, this one here is the eight iron. If you look at the back and the cavity badge, the three, four and five have got a slightly smaller profile and use slightly different materials around here on the back. Fantastic looking clubs. Before I tested these at the start of the year, I was a PXG affectionado. I still think PXG are brilliant and their fittings are excellent. Hit 10 shots with a seven iron of this and it just got me. It had me at hello. Well, it had me at 163 yards to be honest, but 
These are stunning, really enjoying these. Again, with the regular shaft, but a heavier shaft, that's a good option. You know, I think with my swing speed, I could get away with a stiff shaft, but this is what I was fitted for. So regular, but heavy, that seems to suit me. And I've got these chunkier grips. Now these grips can be a bit of a problem if you've got a carry bag. I've got the Ping Moonlight carry bag, which I sometimes use for a half set when it's wintry and you know, it's, it's just wants to be light on your back. But if you've got a full set, maybe if you're going for these kind of grips, you want to make sure you can get them out the bag okay because they are a bit chunkier. So, so far, everything you've seen is new to 2023. So that's some massive changes, but my wedges aren't. I've got the PXG Sugar Daddy 2 wedges. These are the best wedges on the market, I think. Beautifully forged, lovely soft feel, cost an arm and a leg, but you know, this is the scoring game. Different grinds on these, as you can see there. The 56 and the 60 have got this more rounded sole, which allows you to open it up and manipulate it. The 50 looks more like a, a regular iron from a set. Got the 50 in the BP grind. And got the 56 and the 60 in the C grind. Right, there's only one club to go, and this is a massive change. So the flat stick. This is new to the bag. In fact, I've just filmed an episode on it. This is the LAB Golf Direct Force 2.1 T squared. Now, if you think that's a big name, it could be because it's a big club. Look at that. Spaceship on a stick. Three weight ports on this. I'll put a link to the episode where I reviewed this and I also had a fantastic fitting at Scottsdale Golf where I would recommend you watch that. I've been gaming in these two Scotty Camerons for 10 years amongst other putters that keep coming and going. And both of those, I thought they were great. I thought it was reasonable at putting. 12 feet, I hold two out of 10 with both of those. With three different models of the LAB, I hold eight out of 10, nine out of 10, and nine out of 10. Interesting technology on this. As you can see, the shaft leans backward. They're trying to promote that sort of address. They want to keep your hands vertical. They want that shaft lean to take some loft off and to promote a nice upward stroke. So you're getting a perfect end over end roll on the ball. Now the guys at the golf club haven't seen me use this yet, so I'm playing this afternoon, so I think I might get a bit of stick, but if it goes in the hole, I don't care. Interesting grips these. This is the smooth texture, you can get a more coarse one, I preferred this. Again, the Arcos tag in there as well, it's a different tag for the putters. Be interesting to say if that stays nice and white and clean, I'll do my best. And it's got an Acra composite shaft. I think over the last few years, the trend in putters has been chunkier grips, hasn't it? Well, I think the trend now is gonna be better shafts. The stiffer you can get the shaft, the less torque, the less twist you're going to get in the arc. So it's going to be easier to return that club face to the ball. But if you have a really stiff shaft in a putter, it's going to feel horrible and not give you any feedback. So you need a really good quality material shaft like that to help you out. Put that very good stroke. So that's all the clubs in the bag. Here, have a look at the bag now. So some massive changes there, 11 out of 14 clubs gone, wow. So as I said, I've got a new bag. Now it's an occupational hazard for a YouTuber to put loads of new kit in all the time. Because you're always testing lovely stuff out. Well, that's what I tell my wife Rachel anyway. So I've got this nice Vessel staff bag, really like this, really well made, super quality. Vessel's a brand you may not have heard of. You've got players like uh, Tiger Woods, Jordan Spieth, a lot of the live guys are using these. Guys who aren't contracted to use a bag tend to use Vessel. They've got the sort of trademark two water bottle holders here. I tend to use it on a trolley, obviously I'm not gonna carry this around. And in this one, I put my Bushnell. Got a quick release 
pocket here which is good I've got a bag in there with my teas I've got some valuables in there my little ball markers and things huge pockets here first aid kit in that one ball pocket I'm gaming the Titleist AVX after getting fitted for that love this ball my little black book now what's in there so I divide this book up into three sections. It's got every lesson I've had since 2015 in there. I also have a section where I write down after the round how it went, two good things and two bad things. And also have a section at the back for what I'm working on. Have a quick look at that before I go and play every time. Really useful just to sort of keep a bit of a journal for how you're getting out on the course and what you need to be working on. Then when you go for a lesson, you can show your pro that, you know, over the last five or six rounds, you've lost three balls off the tee or whatever's happening. Three balls off the tee, yeah, I know. So, you know, I think it's really useful and worthwhile to keep one of these. And just when you finish, just make a couple of notes. Do you guys put any uh, comments down anywhere? Put some comments below for me. Let me know how you record your rounds. I guess you might use shot scope, you might use Arcos or something like that. But I'd be interested to know how you guys sort of analyse your rounds afterwards. So when you go for a lesson, you're getting the most out of your lesson. Keep two or three gloves in the bag, I think that's quite good, especially if it rains. Also got my Golf Show scorecard holder. This was made for me by Mark and the team at Hazard Golf. I'll put their details below. Scorecard in this end and a stroke saver for whichever course you're going in. Got the initials on just like they have on tour. Love it. What else have we got in here? Let me show you my ball marker. This is pretty cool. So I carry a few ball markers, not that I'm going to lose them, but it's just helpful if maybe you've got to mark somebody else's ball. This is one that was made for me, that's my Zach's handprints. We did a little thing on them when he was very tiny, not that tiny obviously. And his signature from the time as well, so I mark it that way. If I have to move the ball, I mark it that way so I don't forget, so I look after that. A little G4 one there as well, I think they're pretty cool. And of course the greenkeeper's friend, the pitch repairer, good luck after your greens. Because of the way this bag set out, I don't want to use that pocket for tees, it's going to get worn out, I don't want to use it for the bush and all. So I keep my tees in a separate little, little bag there, that saves them rolling about all over the bag. In the side pockets, got my waterproof jacket in that one. Waterproof trousers in there and a the rain hood in there. This pocket is typically for a spare towel in case it's raining, I think that's a really good idea. Spare gloves, number of the woolly hat and snooder gloves are in there, but it is not warm today, so I've got those on. The nice thing about the Vessel Staff Bag is it's not too wide, so it sits really nicely on a trolley. As it's on a trolley, I might as well take an umbrella, it's the UK. And last but not least, I've got my alignment sticks. Got a nice alignment stick cover there that Mark and the guys at Hazard made for me. You know, it's essential for these for practicing, I think it's really helpful, and I do like these covers. They're not just a sort of vanity item. You know, some of these alignment sticks have got a pointy end, sometimes a little rubber stopper comes off and I've seen people damage clubs by putting them into the bag maybe a driver or a three would before they put the head cover on and it scratched them so it's well worth using one of those guys short and sweet today this is my bag lots of changes for 2023 let's see what's still in the bag come January 2024 I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you did give us a like if you really enjoyed it check out our back catalogue there's over 150 episodes lots of different content there for you to enjoy and please tell your friends about the golf show and why not give us a subscribe and we'll see you next time on the golf show I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.